everyone welcome back to our channel in this video we will cover all the must visit places in mysore this places can be explored within a span of 2 to 3 days so let's begin our journey of mysore and start with the well known mysore palace also known as amba vilasa which is a magnificent historical palace located in the heart of mysore city in karnataka it is the official residence of wadia dynasty the royal family of mysore The palace remains open all day from 10:30 a.m. to 5:30 p.m. and this palace lightens up and adds charm to the city of Mysore by its mesmerizing light show that happens on Sundays and public holidays from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. The next place we are here is the St Philomena's Church. This is one of the beautiful church. St Philomena's Church is a Roman Catholic church. It's one of the largest churches in India. and features a neo gothic architectural style the church was built by the early 20th century and it is dedicated to saint philomena the church remains open all day from 8 am to 7:30 pm and entry fee is free for visitors mysore zoo is a paradise for nature lover it houses an incredible array of wildlife the zoo remains open from 8:30 am to 5:30 pm and the entry fee for the zoo is 100 rupees Jagan Mohan Palace is a majestic art gallery and museum located in Mysore. Originally constructed as a royal residence for the Wadia dynasty. Today the palace has an extensive collection of artworks including paintings, artifacts and musical instruments. Visitors can explore the rich cultural heritage of Mysore through the diverse exhibits displayed here. The palace remains open for visitors from 10 am to 5:30 pm and the entry fee is 60 rupees per person. So this is a palace which they have converted to museum now. They have a pretty good collection of arts and artifacts and also they have a good paintings as well. So in case if you have time then you can visit this place for sure. Karanji Lake is a scenic fresh water lake situated at the footsteps of Chamundi Hills in Mysore. It is known for its natural beauty, peaceful atmosphere and bird life. Visitors can enjoy activities like boating, nature walks and bird watching. Most of the places in Mysore closes by 5:30 pm. Even Karanji Lake also closes by 5:30 pm. And also make sure you carry cash because most of the places Google Pay or card is not accepted. The park also houses a butterfly park, small zoo and a regional museum. making it an ideal destination for nature enthusiast this place remains open all the day except tuesday from 8:30 am to 5:30 pm and the entry fee to this place is 50 rupees per person lalit mahal palace is a luxurious heritage hotel in mysore it was originally built as a guest house for the royal family the palace hotel offers world class hospitality and is popular destination for a royal and memorable stay in mysore The palace remains open for the visitors all the days from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. and from 3:30 p.m. to 6 p.m. So the next place we are here is Wax Museum. So Wax Museum, Sand Museum and Jagan Mohana Palace all of these places are close by. So whenever you are planning, so plan these three places together. Even Karanji Lake is also close to these three places. Wax Museum is a small gallery where you can witness some amazing wax work of various celebrities. This place is on the way to Chamundi Hills and remains open all the days from 9 am to 7 pm. Entry fee per person is 60 rupees. Sand Museum has some wonderful art displayed. This place is created using sand and they look very decorative. This place is opens all the day from 8:30 am to 6:30 pm and the entry fee here is 60 rupees. Shell Museum is another place that you can visit as it provides good information on the underwater world and view of the various shapes colors and patterns of the shells are mind blowing. If you are interested in sea life you can visit this place. The entry fee for this place is 60 rupees and it remains open from 9 am to 6 pm. Shukavana is located in Mysore 
and it has a sudden sanctuary bursting with a vibrant parrots. Visitors can enjoy the colorful birds and also engage in understanding about the bonsai plantation. This place remains open all the days except Wednesday and the timing is 10 am to 12:30 pm and reopens again at 3:30 pm to 5:30 pm. So we just came out of Shukavana. This is a very nice place. It's a perfect for parrot lovers. Aquarium is a popular tourist attraction in Mysore. It houses a diverse collection of aquatic life including colorful fish, mesmerizing coral reefs and exotic marine species. Visitors can explore the vibrant underwater world through its well-maintained tanks and educational exhibits. This place is open for visitors all the days of the week and timing to visit this place is from 9:30 a.m. to 8:30 p.m. Entry fee is 150 rupees. There are two aquariums in Mysore, Lokarjuna Aqua World Underwater and Planet Earth Aquarium. Both offer a fantastic glimpse into the underwater world. But if you are looking for some extra excitement and interactive activities, the Planet Earth Aquarium is the best place. The next place we are here is Rail Museum. This is very close to the railway station. So let's go explore. Rail Museum is the place where past meets present. Rail Museum showcases an impressive collection of vintage locomotives and historical artifacts. that tell the story of india's railway journey also you can enjoy the toy train from a beautiful station a place you must visit the museum remains open all the days except tuesday from 10 am to 6 pm entry fee is just 50 rupees Next place we are here is GRS Fantasy Park. This place is definitely recommended if you are coming with kids to Mysore. Along with GRS there is snow park and also up down museum. So all of this can be covered in one day. GRS Fantasy Park, snow park and up down museum are all located at the same location and provides a great combo of fun and adventure with a lots of memories to make. This place is a fun park for everyone to spend a leisure day. Balamuri Falls also known as Edumuri Falls is an amazing waterfalls located in the Mandya district. Visitors can enjoy the stunning views, take a refreshing dip in the natural pool and capture beautiful moments in the lush greenery. It remains crowded over the weekends. This place opens from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. and there is no entry fee to this place. KRS Dam is an iconic dam built over the river Kaveri. Visitors can witness the beautiful garden surrounding the dam. The musical fountain and the light show in the evenings are treat to the eyes. The place remains open every day and the timings are 7:30 a.m. to 8 p.m. and over the weekends till 9 p.m. Six music show happens at 6:30, 7:30 and 8:30 p.m. on the weekends. The entry fee is 50 rupees. Chamundi Hills is one of the must visit place dedicated to Goddess Chamundeshwari. The road leads up to the hill with a lush greenery and serenity, offering a peaceful escape from the busy city life. Don't miss out on the wonderful statue of Nandi on the way. There is no entry fee and the temple remains open from 7:30 a.m. to 2 p.m. and then reopens by 3:30 p.m. until 6 p.m. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.